Deshaun Watson off to a historic start to his career. He's thrown 40 touchdown passes in 19 career games. Only three players have reached 40 career touchdown passes in less games. Patrick Mahomes achieved the feat in 13, followed by Kurt Warner's 17 and Dan Marino's 18 games. What's interesting is that after starting the season 0-3, the Texans have rattled off a franchise record nine straight wins. Much of that success, of course, can be attributed to that tough defense, but also the steady play of second-year quarterback, the aforementioned Deshaun Watson. In the latest edition of Detail, which is available later today, exclusively on ESPN+, Plus, Peyton Manning breaks down Watson's performance this past weekend against the Browns. Here's an excerpt. On this episode of Detail, we'll take a look at Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. Just watch it pre-snap. It looks like a pretty standard zone coverage. It looks like quarter-quarter halves. A lot of defenses and offenses refer to it as cover eight. I have no idea why it's called cover eight. Why is nickel five defensive backs? Huddle up now. We got nickel defense. And dime six defensive backs. Quarter is seven defensive backs. Go figure on that one, right? Why is it 25? Why is it dime 10? Uh, but that's just football math uh, for you. But anyway, it looks like cover eight. Watch the snap. Boom. The corner is blitzing. This is a corner blitz. This is a great disguise. It's hard to recognize. My advice to quarterbacks would just be always be alert. Don't ever relax. Don't ever say, I know what this defense is. Have an idea of what they're doing pre-snap, confirm it post-snap. Pre-snap, it looks like cover eight. Post-snap, it's a corner blitz. The safety is rotating down to cover the wide receiver. This safety over here is rotating back to the middle. It's a form of zone blitz, cover three, actually, three deep. Deep third, deep third, deep third. Great timing and anticipation by Deshaun Watson throwing this skinny post. The corner blitz times it up well, but since Deshaun is on time with his footwork and quick release, he gets the ball out of his hand before the corner has a chance to tackle him. For more analysis, go to detail on ESPN+. Really interesting stuff, and the next edition that you just heard, the, the entire edition is uh, up later today. Okay. Listen, this is how bingo works. Everybody knows there's balls in the thing and you spin it. There's 32 balls Caution. representing Caution. all 32 teams. What's that, Steve? You, Steve Young is Caution. with you? Be oh, careful. That's right. about me. He's right. worried about Teddy because he tends to get hurt when we play this game. Careful. He's going to talk about the quarterback, Steve Young. That would be he. Okay. Get a ping pong ball. Get a ping pong ball. I need to stop talking. Here we go. Who's picking? Oh, that's a good one, Wendy. The Tennessee Teddy's Titans. Teddy's picking and he picked the Titans. Going so he, Mariota, Steve. We're going to talk about Marcus okay. Mariota a little bit. Matt LaFleur, I, if, you're not, if you're not watching the Rams or the Chiefs, and truly, a lot of teams, if I, I would just take the Rams offense from the week before and just copy it. I would take the, uh, the Chiefs offense from the week before and just copy it. <laughs> and that's what the Titans have done Copycat. with Matt LaFleur. They said, look, we're going to bring in the Rams offense, and we think Marcus Mariota can be that kind of quarterback. And I, you, that, for the first time in my life, I actually am interested in watching Titans offense. I mean, in the history of the Titans, this is the first time I've been interested. And to me, that's going to keep Marcus Mariota interested and, and prolific. I, 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 have a, I still believe Marcus Mariota is going to be fine, but he does need some help. And if you're not going to get him help, then he's going to flounder. But they've done the, the most important thing is start to set the tone for who the Titans offense is going to be. It's not going to be eye formation, two tight ends, and run the football and play great defense. They've now realized that, that, is, that, that those days are gone. And we're going to come into the you know, 2018s and we're going to try to compete. So I appreciate that they've made the fundamental shift. This is just the beginning. Mike Vrabel went in there. He has a plan. They're trying to get things established, obviously. Oh. But you know what? Not a bad first campaign. Yeah, uh, not a bad. For this and, and, and a Corey Davis is a fact. Yeah, and they're, a and they're still Absolutely. winning. I mean, you know, it'll be yeah. a tough road, but you never know. All right, Darren All right. gets to, to spin. Spin this thing. Yeah. All right, am I going to cut my hand doing this? I know, I'm not even seeing fine. this thing. What does it look like? You can't you see You don't want to know. You, I, well, I can't see. I've never well, seen it. We'll see if we get you a shot. Definitely, it's definitely not what championship card. San Francisco 49ers, Mr. Kittle. Oh, well, there. So, have fun, Steve. Mullins. Mullins. Nick uh -huh. Mullins. Nick Mullins. A uh, big, bigger issue, right? What have we learned about the 49ers? And up until two weeks ago, we're like, hey, we lost our quarterback. We're going to be good. 
And then the last couple of weeks, you're like, well, maybe we're not that good. We have a lot of holes. And so in Jimmy Garoppolo, if we put the team two together the last two weeks and the first three games when Jimmy was one and two, who are, are maybe it's not just about the quarterback. So that's the fear, is that when Jimmy comes back next year, what team does he, you know, do we have? We came in this year with the perception that we could be a playoff team, nine and seven, ten and six. And now we end the year, we're like, I don't know what we're gonna be. And we got some big holes to fill. And some of our big um, draft choices haven't worked out. So Jimmy Garoppolo, number one, has got to stay healthy for next year. But then again, who are the 49ers? And that's not really the way you want to spend six months talking about next season. Because that remember last year they finished so strong. It was like, it was like awesome six months. This six months is going to be a big hole for the 49ers to try to fix. See what he did there? He went big. Back picture. Actually, yeah. yeah. See, he's a pro. Oh, yeah, when well, you talk about Nick Mullins, you want to no, talk no, about no. Nick Mullins? I like, okay. I know, you're let's a talk, pro. You're a pro, Let's talk about Steve. Nick Mullins. I'm sure everybody can't wait yeah. to hear about it. Must see TV. <laughs> All right, stand by. Teddy's choosing another ping pong ball. Or what the oh, big deal? Keep the viewers up. Uh, stay, okay. in the, stay in the Bay Area, Steve. You're doing Oakland a great Raiders. job. How about Derek Carr, my friend? All right, well, I'm going to try to do the same thing here. Like, it's, at the Good end of the idea. season, now that John Gruden's been there, I thought for sure that Derek Carr would look better. That he would be, you know, like, oh, my gosh, with a great coach like that and they're running a great offense, he's going to – and I don't know that – I finished the season right now going, I'm not thinking that Derek's better than what I thought he was at the beginning of the year. And so that's where the concern is. Yeah, they've lost guys. They've lost momentum, the locker room. They're just trying to win, you know, trying to finish out the year and you know, make a big draft choice and try to re-energize people. But I just don't feel like Derek's improved, which is now, cons like, I'm scared to death. Like, John, you've had him for four months and he's not getting better. I understand weapon. I understand all the stuff around him, but I want to see him improving. And I'm not seeing it. And that's what scares me about the future. Because if Derek Carr's not going to get better with John Gruden, you don't want to start to, if the Raiders have to start asking about who's going to quarterback in the future, Forget it. They got they got so many issues they can't they can't solve all those. Steve, this is keeping right you up there. at night. Derek yeah, Clark, yes. get, get Steve. Bay Area, it's, Bay Area it's quarterbacking. Yeah, it's making I, me I, crazy. I can understand. Listen, that's it. I don't think you got chipped here. You know, Darren yeah, doesn't get another one, but we'll we'll do it again next week. Yeah. Uh, Steve, as always, thank you, my friend.